In this lecture, we are going to learn about angular error handlers. And actually, it's not a magic. It's just same as try catch that you used in other languages in the .NET or the Java. And we will see how we are going to use that try and catch. For that, for this error handlers, we need to import the exception handler service into a class. I'm going to import that exception handler. And now I can use try catch into my code. I'll use try. Um, catch. I'm going to catch some extra exception. I need to give a variable to catch that part. And I'm going to use alert to out this exception. And for the testing purposes, I'm going to throw some exception. Throw new exception. I'm going to give some ex name details for this exception. I'll tell uh, this is my first exception. And we'll run this application and see how it works. Yes. Reference error exception is not defined. I got something else that I have misspelled this exception, not misspelled. I need to use capital E here. Exception. And we will run it and see. I have, I think, exception. New exception. Ops. Sorry, that's not exception, it's new error. Yes, it's new error. Yes, this is my first exception. You can see I need to throw some error here, not the exception. In the Angular, it uses the name called error. And I'll run it, see. Yes, at this point, it throws error. This is my first exception. Yeah, right. This is my first exception. And you can see how you are going to handle the errors in the AngularJS. And with this error handlers, I'll give you a, another important Angular services that's called log. And we can log things in the angular console and I'm going to remove this alert and I'm going to use a log to output this error log dot log has few predefined functions we will check each ones and the first one is log dot error and I'm going to out this error object and to check this log dot error you have to go to this console the developer tools in the Google Chrome it's having a console and we will run this application and see how this log is work yes this is my first exception you can see error this is my first exception log dot error type is uh, returned this is my first exception with the the font color red that means the danger font color that error is generated that's very important that's how you used log dot error the other the log function is log dot log dot log 
log means something you can log i'll use same object to give you the idea about how this log dot log works i'll stop the application and run it yes i'll increase the size of this one yes you can see in the code i have a first log called error and it shows in the red color font and the second one is log dot log it shows in the normal color you can see here it shows in the normal color this is my first exception and we will learn about the next log type log dot one i am going to out this type error and we stop the application and i'll run it again and yes you can see the first log is for error red color and the second log is just for a logging something and the third log the which you can see warning icon and some uh, the brown color uh, text that's a warning and the next log type is log dot info just out some info using log we will see how this one is work and i'll stop the application and run it yes you see log dot info how it's work this is log for warn and this is log for info you can see icon of info and the last type of the log is log dot debug log dot debug and i'll use error the same object i'll stop this application and run it you can see yes the blue color font output the last one that's log dot debug and yes i think you understood about the log according to your situation you can use these log types the first one is error that red color font that's mean, that's mean uh, that it's important and log dot type log and just logging something it comes with the light uh, black color and the next type is worn and you can see it comes with the warning icon and the next type is info it comes with the info icon and the last one is debug it comes with the blue color and yes i think in this lecture i have pretty much covered this how we are going to do the error handling and how we are going to use the service type load